Justin, good to see you, my friend. Michael, good to see you. Always, yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. So we're in Atlanta. We're looking at the brand new Entertech Air to Water. So Absolutely. walk us through what we're leaning on here, what this unit is, what can it do? This is the new Entertech Advantage system. Uh, we refer to it internally as the AV, but it is an air to water heat pump. And this thing can provide essentially anything from 42 degrees up to 140 Fahrenheit. Uh, and uh, yeah, we got cold weather capability down to minus 13 or minus 25 Celsius. And it's a it's a pretty uh, uh, limitless flexibility unit. Yeah, Good so for these, the residential market. These units are designed for the residential market. They come in two sizes, right? Three yep. ton and a five ton. Two and a half. Yeah. O three O and an O six O. Awesome. Yep. So these units are a little bit different because you guys are not just supplying an outdoor unit. Right now we only have the outdoor unit, but that's you correct. guys are doing something unique in that you have a fully engineered indoor unit that's designed to be mounted on the wall and take the headaches from the contractor of how do I design an air-to-water system? Because the reality is, as a guy who's working on the training for air-to-water systems, there isn't a lot of training. That's correct. Yeah, so with our indoor module, we work out everything from the change over time and when we direct water to the domestic hot water heater or to the space load heating or cooling. Uh, and so all that logic is built out, the valves shift when they're supposed to so we don't end up sending chilled water to the domestic hot water heater, for example, or vice versa, sending hot water to a fan coil in the cooling mode. So in a lot of applications, what we'll see is people will put an outdoor air to water in, they'll then design the inside of the system. And what right. happens is they forget that this is not a boiler. Correct. Right? You, you, you've heard my training session. Absolutely. Heat pumps are not boilers, and I get into it in length. Yep. This unit can produce chilled water, so it's really, really important that when we design the indoor system that we accommodate that. What Correct. you guys have done at Entertech is you've eliminated that need for the contractor to masquerade as an engineer. That's right. Yeah. And so we're doing direct-to-load piping in most applications. We're eliminating the buffer tank or the need for one, as well as we integrate the load side source pump or the load side pump inside the unit and then we have options for like electric backup heating that plays double duty between domestic hot water and space heating as well as having a boiler backup option for dual fuel yeah. applications. I like that the indoor unit has the built-in nine kilowatt electric backup that yep. really helps because one of the things that becomes a problem is when you build these hybrid systems they don't understand this outdoor unit doesn't want to see that superheated water temperatures from an electric boiler or a gas boiler right. we have to isolate them yep. by you guys doing it with the controls it eliminates that makes a big difference absolutely so for sure. one of the other things I wanted to just sort of touch on is you made a statement that's gonna make a few people go whoa but I know why you said it uh -huh. a lot of air to water heat pumps if you don't put a buffer tank on them you're gonna have major major grief absolutely what's different with your unit is you have flow sensors and differential bypass can you walk Correct. through that really quickly yeah so this unit uh, is built in the United States and it's one of the the uh, the only air to water heat pump built here in the States and designed specifically for North America American distribution systems and so what we do is when we're sending water to the domestic hot water heater or to the space load uh, and when we need to flip that water temperature going from like cooling to domestic hot water we short cycle and bypass water to the outdoor system and so we're not actually actively sending water out into the home at that point in time so in our indoor module we've integrated all those functionality and we've integrated the software to maximize the efficiency of the heat pump and match the output of this machine to the load that's actually happening at a given time. Yeah. So as you know, I've had the pleasure of getting my hands on this unit, yep. taking the outdoor unit apart, the indoor unit apart, and you and I recently spent a few days together we did. in our yep. training lab. Yep. And I have to tell you that I'm very impressed with the engineering that went into that indoor unit from a control standpoint. Yes. I really feel like that Entertech's engineering team has built an indoor unit that'll allow us to have those really deep, low flow, low modulation without damage the equipment right and I also like that you've provided a solution that you can slap on the wall it's not gonna be the least expensive air to water solution on paper yep. but I think one of the things that contractors and engineers need to focus on is understand that that indoor box yes it's gonna be a couple of thousand dollars yep. but what's in it what's it saving you from materials and labor what's yep. your experience been with that so so far if, if you look at the whole install cost of the job we are an upfront a uh, higher price product because of all the engineering that went into the indoor module however it does save a tremendous amount from labor and accessory standpoint and so when you look at the whole install cost to the homeowner 
it, it, it's really comparable to what else is on the market if you're looking at a complete package system to do domestic hot water, space heating, and cooling. Well, so one of the things I like to also touch on is that you and I both know this because we're both nerds, we're, we're trainers, <laughs> you know? we're HVAC guys, we love this stuff. Yep. You and I both know that 90% of the time what kills this piece of equipment, whether it's an air to water or water water, is not the piece of equipment, it's how you piped it. Absolutely. So one of the advantages I see in that outdoor indoor unit is as an end user or a building owner, you have that assurance that the system was engineered to work together. Correct. You're not potentially going to have those same premature failures of somebody going in and, and piping it up for the first time going, what is the system and how do I do it? Right. So as long as we have the correct size pipe and we get the right volume of water flow, really that's about it. You know, we give the unit heating calls or cooling calls. It has its own built-in, uh, essentially built-in uh, aquastat for domestic hot water. We're literally landing a thermistor on our indoor module. The two modules speak uh, over communication cable. Um, it's just a three-wire connection. And it, you know, it really uh, is is pretty easy to install. Really, yeah. I think price point wise, having seen where your price point is supposed to be, I know it will yep. obviously change over time. Yep. You know, if if you look at it just compared to a boiler, which is what this is replacing, people are looking, going, well, this could potentially be. We'll make a number twenty thousand dollars Canadian because I'm Canadian, you're American. <laughs> yep, yep. That's going to screw all the American viewers up, going, what's this Canadian yeah, nonsense? Yeah, yeah. So that's like, let's say seventeen grand U.S. Yep. Well, the reality is, this is now our heating and cooling. It's not a boiler. That's so if you compare that to like a Lennox or a York system, the reality is we're actually the same price. The difference is we're delivering BTUs for much less because we can get way better heat transfer out of water than we can out of air. Absolutely. So it's easier to transfer the BTUs into the water. So for domestic hot water, space heating and cooling. And because we're doing all three functions, we're maximizing the functionality of the heat pump that you paid for. And even down at minus 13 or minus 25 Celsius north of the border, uh, we're still just above 2 COP, like 2.2 COP, which is a really good efficiency uh, out of a, a heat pump that is really taking care of your largest energy usage in your home. Yeah. Now, this product is fully available, like it's fully certified, fully it available, is. so you can buy it anywhere in the United States? Yeah, and Canada, so it's ETL rated uh, indoor and outdoor unit. Uh, right now, we are the only place where we have a little bit of an issue or we're waiting on some certification is in the state of California. Uh, but we will quickly have that behind us. And uh, yeah, otherwise, we have a lot of these uh, installed from coast to coast, um, it, you know, kind of specifically in the northwest and the northeast side of the U.S., as well as several in Canada. Yep. And one of them being mine. Yep. One of them being yours. <laughs> yep. That's correct. And so, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's been a really interesting project. It's been a lot of fun to work with this unit. I've learned a tremendous amount about it in the last four or five years. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited what the future has to hold or has to bring with this thing. Well, I think it's a great product. And just sort of on a, a footnote, I'd just like to point out that one of the things that really excites me is the Entertech team. You know, this is yeah. a no BS thing. You've right. met my team. I've met your entire team outside of this filming. We're, we're just nerds and we like to collaborate. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> your company culture is very much like my company culture, Eden yep. Energy, where, where I work. Yep. And uh, I have to say that you and Ed and Tim and everybody, it's been a pleasure getting to know you and I look forward to seeing what you do. I with really the appreciate it, Michael. Thank you. Thanks, man. Sounds good.